The future of cattle feeding. When Nebraska's Galen Erickson was asked to speak on that topic earlier this year, he made some predictions based on data. Philosophically, I think the best way to predict the future is with some recent trends. And we have about a 40-year trend line on increasing carcass weight in beef cattle. It's actually about a five pound per year average increase in hot carcass weight for steers and six pounds for heifers. So we're continuing to make cattle bigger and bigger. And I don't see that changing until there's some other more invasive way to, to, to change that. And it could be change in marketing, could be discounts, whatever. But it's, it's going to be a long-term trend, I'm afraid, until something stops it. More days on feed also helps increase marbling potential, which is the kind of beef the U.S. is known for producing. Clearly, I think we have the infrastructure, maybe most importantly, the knowledge and the people uh, to focus still on, on, uh, on fattened cattle, which would be high marbled and generally speaking, higher fat cattle. Uh, that's the market today in the U.S. It has been in recent times. I don't see that changing. But there is still demand for lean trim, which leaves the domestic beef business with a few options raise more cows or grow more cattle on forage. Or a balance between export and imports and, and, and balance maybe exporting very highly marbled, high quality beef and importing lower quality, more lean trim. Those are all decisions way beyond me, but I think it's clear that something's gonna give because we need a lot of lean trim and yet we produce a lot of well marbled, high quality beef. And I, I'm, from my personal opinion is, is that we should focus on producing more higher quality marbled beef and be very careful about our import-export philosophies and policies. Other trends of interest include the increasing feed yard mortality. With all of the technology that we do have from an animal health perspective and all the management things that we know today, uh, I wish that trend line wasn't going up. And, and so I'm, I'm a little concerned about how we manage cattle, maybe especially this transition of of, of weaning through getting them into feed yards. A bigger market incentive for preconditioning programs might help, he suggests. Finding the right people to watch over those animals and catch those that are sick is an increasingly difficult task. One of the biggest things that's on their mind is, is people and how are they going to handle the personnel needs in the future. Um, there's really two categories of people though that we need, right, in many operations and that's management and, and so on and so forth and, and a lot of knowledge skill uh, and, and a lot of knowledge in different areas or general labor very skilled in many cases so I don't mean labor that's unskilled but but still labor more focused jobs employees cattle health marketing feeding they're all changing Erickson is optimistic that producers will rise to meet the challenge I'm Clint Mefford